In this lesson, we will drive formula for coordinates of the in center of a triangle. Here the triangle ABC is given and angle bisectors for angle A, for angle B and angle C meet in point I which is called in center of the triangle ABC. According to the naming conventions of triangles in mathematics, the side opposite to vertex A will always be denoted by small a, the side opposite to vertex B will be denoted by small b, and side opposite to vertex C should always be denoted by small letter C. Let's get started and find the point D which divides BC in ratio BD ratio DC. Here point, point D divides divides BC in ratio in ratio BD ratio DC BD ratio DC but because AD is angle bisector therefore BD ratio DC is equal to C ratio B but D A D A D being angle bisector angle bisector of angle A means B D ratio D C B D ratio D C is same as C ratio B this is angle bisector theorem. So we are given the ratio now. This means BD over DC is equal to C over B. So taking this ratio, we can find coordinates of D. Then coordinates of D would be D will have coordinates. The way we do write coordinates of D that the opposite ratio is multiplied with X component of C and the opposite ratio part of B which is B is multiplied with X component of B. Here this would be BX2 BX2 plus CX3 CX3 over B plus C and similarly BY2 BY2 plus CY3 CY3 over B plus C and if you didn't understand then you obviously know how to find a point dividing a given line segment BC in ratio C ratio B. We have done many questions in previous lessons. But this is the easiest way to figure out what would be the coordinates of point D which divides the join of BC in ratio C ratio B. Once we have coordinates of D, now we will be required to find out coordinates of I. If we know the ratio AI ratio ID, we obviously can find out coordinates for I because we know that if we have endpoints for a given line, let's say that this was A and this is D. Now we have coordinates for D, we have coordinates for A and if we only know what is the ratio in which I divides the join of A and D. So this ratio we need to know, find out what is the ratio for 
finding for finding AI ratio ID because this is main thing this is what we need to find out if we know this ratio then this will be taken as k1 and this will be taken as k2 and if we have coordinates for point a and coordinates of point like if this is x1 y1 and these points are taken as x2 y2 then we can simply apply the formula which will give us coordinates for i but we know that i is a point on the angle bisector coming from vertex B because B point if this line BI is angle bisector of angle B so again if I is a point that divides the that is on the angle bisector then AI ratio ID must be same as C ratio BD as I is a point on the angle bisector on the angle bisector angle bisector bi so i divides i divides ad in ratio what would be that ratio that would be ai ratio id a i a i ratio i d but this must be same as a b ratio b d means c c ratio b d so we can use this C ratio BD as the ratio which is required for finding coordinates of I. But the problem is only to find out the value BD. Now we will find we require BD because BD is not known. Since since BD ratio DC is same as we already know in one BD ratio uh, BD ratio DC is equal to C ratio B from 1 we know that this means BD over DC is equal to C over B and we can reciprocate it as well if we want we can simply reciprocate DC over BD nothing is done in mathematics without purpose we are doing it for a reason and soon you will know what is that reason because our ultimate objective is to find the value for BD and now by using property by using componendo Componendo property of ratios, property of 
ratios. What is that property? That property is that if you have A over B is equal to C over D, this means you can write it A plus B over B equal to C plus D over D. So if we apply that property, this will give us DC plus BD over BD is equal to B plus C over C. Now B, D, B, uh, DC plus BD, DC plus BD, if you look in the figure, BD plus DC is equal to small a. But BD plus DC is equal to small a that is length of the side of the triangle. This means A over BD is equal to B plus C over C and from here we can find out the value for BD and that was our objective. So we will reciprocate again and this will give us BD over A is equal to C over B plus C and this should tell us what is value for BD. BD is equal to AC over B plus C. Now this value of BD we are going to use for this ratio here which we can call as 2. This is the ratio in which I divides the join of AD. This means so from 2 from 2 we say I divides I divides the join the join of a d in ratio what was that ratio that was that which was named as 2 is c ratio b d is c ratio b d and now we are going to substitute value for b d this means that the required ratio will be equal to C ratio AC over B plus C. And this means this is equal to C can be taken as common. So this is equal to 1 ratio a over B plus C means this is same as ratio B plus C ratio A. So we can definitely find coordinates of I when we know that this is B plus C and ratio A. B plus C, this would be B plus C and this is A. So if we have a starting point A and then we can write it like this. Now if A is marked as X1, Y1 and D is already we know that D is marked as BX2 
बी एक्स टू प्लस सी एक्स वन ओवर बी प्लस सी एंड सी वाई और बी वाई टू प्लस सी वाई थ्री ओवर बी प्लस सी दीज आर कोआर्डिनेट्स ऑफ ए एंड डी एंड स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम ए दिस इज समेयर वेयर द पॉइंट आई इज एंड दिस पार्ट इज बी प्लस सी फॉर द रेशो दैट इज डिवाइडिंग एंड दिस पार्ट इज ए सो इफ दिस इज इक्वल टू के वन एंड दिस इज इक्वल टू के टू देन ऑब्वियसली I, the end center of the triangle, will have coordinates a x one. So this would be a x one plus b plus c. If I write the formula here, that is k two k two x one plus k one. x2 over k1 plus k2 and k2 y1 plus k1 y2 over k1 plus k2 and we have done many questions using this formula so by use by using same formula we are doing this a x1 plus b plus c time b plus c time b x two b x two plus c x three this is in fact plus c x three over b plus c and then dividing everything with the ratio A plus B plus C, and similarly, now this would be we'll do the same thing. A Y one, so this would be A Y one plus B plus C time B Y two plus C Y three over. B plus C, and whole thing divided by A plus B plus C, and we can simply close this bracket here. Now you can see that B plus C can be cancelled with this B plus C. This B plus C can be cancelled with this B plus C, leaving behind. Coordinates of the end center, which are a x one plus b x two plus c x three over a plus b plus c, and here a y one plus b y two plus c y three over a plus b plus c. these are coordinates of the in center of the triangle